All right, Gabriel. So we're taking a look at our serves and just analyzing what we can do. Uh, well, trying to figure out where we are and where we can go. And so, and that's always a healthy thing to do. So we're looking at our serves, you and I, and, uh, you know, we see a lot of good things going on right the minute. Uh, when you look right now, I'm looking at this elbow and this racket doing great. I'm looking at mine, very similar. Um, your grip is in the right position. So is mine. Uh, things are looking good. Let me just back it up a little bit and let's take a look. My toss happens just a little before yours. Okay, so my tossing arm comes out this direction. Uh, let's see where yours is. All right, yours is just a little ahead of you, but that's that's just fine too. Uh, so in a good direction, okay. We're going to clear that and roll forward. Oh, look at that release. Yeah, so that release right there. Uh, was excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. So here's where our paths start to vary. Right now, you'll look and see right up here, uh, I've got racket edge leading, knuckles are still up, and you've got racket edge leading, knuckles are still, for the most part, still up. I'm a little ahead of you in my swing right now, uh, or at least in my prep. Uh, both of our hips are closed to the court, and that's good. Uh, the court can't see our hips. Uh, I have more of a belly than you. You are still thin and strong. I'm thicker and strong, <laughs> so, but things are looking good. All right, now we're gonna shift forward just a little bit in our recording, and you'll see right there. Now, look at your racket right here. I'm gonna go back just a couple of frames, and if you look at my racket, all right, you can still see my racket face. You can't see your racket face. Yours has shifted. All right, so I'm going to clear those lines away. Let's go back just a little. Hold on, see if we can go back. Okay, here's where the issue is. So right now, things are looking good. Now I'm going to go forward just a couple of frames and look at your wrist and hand. And I, there it is, right there. All right, back and forward. You can see it on yours. Look at mine on the left, okay, and look at yours. Yours just starts to flatten out. So we're going to carry it on through and look at our prep as we both start to snap forward. So both of us have the racket right behind us. You'll see that yours has a very open face at this point. Uh, and it all started from that prep just a second ago, where you see mine is on the left is such a uh, closed uh, frame leading uh, face. And so that's our, our challenge that we need to overcome as your racket and my racket both now both address the ball. So as we come up, you'll see. Yours, oh, let me go back. So yours is your arm angle. Uh, hold on, let me clear that. Yours is an arm angle kind of like this. Mine, let me go back a frame and see. Mine is not ideal in this situation. I would actually like a little more arm angle. But you can kind of see the difference between our rackets when you look at our arm angle uh, at the point of contact or right before the point of contact uh, my arm my hand uh, my racket head is to the left of my hand and your racket head is to the right of your hand and that's what's producing that inside out spin and so and of course that you know and so we're going to clear let's clear those lines and let's see where your racket versus my racket follow through to look at my racket snap down and look at your snap way over to the left. So mine goes down and it's still gonna come by my left leg, but look how far over to the left yours is. Like mine's here, yours is here. So you're pronating for sure. Uh, you're pronating, that left thumb of yours is rolling way to the left. 
but I think its starting position is, is the challenge. And so, and look where we both end up. So yours ends up over here. That's great. Mine ends up right here. Both of us come by our left leg. Um, and that's good. You are managing an inside out swing that I have never been able to do well. The fact that you get the ball in, curving it, you're you're basically throwing a screwball in baseball, which is really cool. Um, if you can keep that swing and just pull it out of your repertoire, your toolbox, uh, if you could keep that and throw a screwball every once in a while at somebody, that would be really cool. Uh, but it's definitely, you know, a challenge we want to overcome as far as habits go. Right now on the follow through, things are looking good. Look at both our bodies. I'm going to clear those lines. Um, weight on the left foot. Hips are forward, rotated. Look at the shoulders. Both of our shoulders are spun all the way around, starting to face the ad court. Um, things are really looking good between both our shoulders. So um, the follow through, the end's good. I'm just going to back back up. I think the issue is from here, this point, in this frame, everything's good. I think it's right here for watching yours. I think it's right there. I think that's the issue. Yours starts to lead racket face. Mine starts to lead frame edge. And we're going to fix that. So that's what I want you to see. Hey, I love you. I appreciate you working on your serve. And we're going to have some fun. Um, if not, uh, you know, if we uh, don't fix it, I know some people who can. And so we're going to get the resources uh, we can for you to have fun with it. Hey, I love you, kid. And I'm going to stop this recording.